Good afternoon, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to FS Daily News. Man, it is getting cold here in the Midwest. Well, today in news, we'll be taking a look at the John Deere 1023E with the backhoe attachment. Also in news, we'll be talking about the Lizard 669 and where is it? And don't worry, that testing list is back and we have 54 mods on that list. Let's get to that news. Okay, so that first piece of news to go over for today is from Farm Sim Game. And this is a decoration item right here. It's ready to send off to Giants. But they asked, what decoration cutouts do you see? I see kind of like a little bit of a Planet of the Apes style at the very end right there. I see a deer. Then I see the Marine War Memorial. And I see a T-Rex, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, okay. There's that first piece of news for today. Then let's get on to some regular news for today that's not has to do with T-Rexes. This is from 4D modding an update on their Armor Solomon TR2000 Beat Harvester. Uh, he's making excellent progress on the 3D model, getting the last details fin finalized, which is mainly hydraulics, plus guards and brackets and more stuff like that. Remember, there's no release date on this. This will be trying to come out to all platforms. Can't wait for this. Imagine this on Frankenmuth. Then we have some news from the Tactical Farmer. We've been getting news over and over from him about his progress on his John Deere 1023 E1025R pack. But here is right here. The Deere 260B loader is nearly complete in Blender and it's only 8,000 polys with a bucket, of course. I'm just wondering how much can that bucket hold? Very excited. This looks like a very highly detailed mod, mainly especially for his first mod ever that's gonna be released. Then today, 82 Studio pretty much updated us on his projects. As you guys can see right here, this is the first post he posted earlier. It says, test complete on the TLX 2020 series, the six ton fertilizer spreader, 20 foot gooseneck trailer pack, the global goods transport pallet, and the zero turn mow it pack. So all the tests complete. And then about like what, I think an hour after that, he had this to say, well, progress indeed, three fell due to the new warning of the deprecated bids on collusion and the other two moving forward to console testing. So the six ton fertilizer spreader is moving on to console testing and the global goods transport pallet is moving on to console testing. So hopefully we can see those by the end of this week. Next, we have some bad news from Cluriga modding design. Well, it's kind of good news and bad news. Just depends on what system you really play on. This is about the Rhino Agro trailer pack has already been sent off to the official page to be tested and if everything goes well to be published. So it's been sent off in response to the questions everybody's been asking in this first version. There will be no grape compatible versions. They will be released in the upcoming update. Now the bad news about this until they are not running without any errors, we'll not be sending a version to console to avoid function compatibility errors. So this is looks like it's going to be only a PC only mod at the time. Then last but not least, we have an update from Gamer Design about his Lizard 669. So this is a beast right here, guys. The Lizard 669 is coming along quite nicely. Uh, so here is an update on it. Here's a list of stuff he has to complete on it. He still has the decals. He has to finish the player feet movement, finish the interior, make custom screen for inside dash, add interior light. And then of course he's gonna be sending it off to his personal testers and then to Giants. I'm very excited about this. He said he'll do his best to get this to his internal testers, testers by the weekend if time allows it. And then hopefully get it to Giants some sometime next week. Came to speak right today. Anyways guys, that is all the regular news for today. Got some really good stuff. We do have a testing list to go over, so let's go over that testing list real quick. So that testing list today has 54 mods. And like always guys, like I always say, remember, even if they say just PC testing at the moment, does not mean they won't be coming to console. Remember, PC testing is the first stage, console testing is the second stage, and if they pass both of those, third stage will be released. Okay, anyways, let's go over some notable ones we have on here. Looks like we have the Cattle Crush on there, Fish Farming, uh, let's see, the John Deere S-Series Combines, of course, that is from Custom Modding. Uh, we have the Linder Lintrack 110, uh, looks like we got man TGS aggro pack. They must have misprint that. So that would actually make 53 mods. Uh, let's see. New Holland CR 990, uh, potato pallets, rock crawl map. That is from alien jam. Uh, let's see. We have the Steiger series two, and that is about it on the PC side of testing. Now on console side of testing, we have black river. We have the Landall 845 AG halal series. 
we have the Rabe Work LS15 and then Wild River Forest. So maybe another forestry map. Number of miles we're going to be tested is 60. Current average waiting time is only two work days. Well, right there was the news and testing list for today. Before we get to the main intro, got to ask you guys a question. What would you guys rather see here on the channel? Let's Plays come out or new mods showcase when the mods come out? Let me know in the comments section below. Remember guys, also, all the links to the news and the testing list are linked in the description. Also, keep in mind that mods and maps never have a release date unless it is scheduled. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did enjoy the video. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button to stay up to date with everything that's going on in Farming Similar. And make sure that notification bell is on so you never miss any of the videos here on the channel. Hope you all have a great day. See you guys in the next one. Peace.